up fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Let's talk about the auction. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, Michael from Michael's Fish Room. This is my basement fish room. I run a small online business uh michaelsfishroom.com check it out and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel especially if you like what you see if you don't like then subscribe anyway because i asked you nicely please anyway folks let's talk about the auction uh this past saturday i was at the bucks county aquarium society yearly auction which is the best auction around um not only is it very well run and there's a great bunch of folks that go there but from a seller standpoint, it's a buck a bag for fish, which means you get almost 100% of the sale price. Most other clubs are a 60-40 or a 70-30 or a 75-25 split, not usually just a buck a bag. Um, overall, as a seller, I don't know how I did. I haven't received any communication from the club uh, yet, but they're busy and uh, it's fine. I know I sold a couple things at a decent price and a couple things at a not so decent price. And when I left, uh, about half the lots were sold and I took a bunch of my lots back because I don't really need to sell them at the auction because I have this website. So things that I knew I could sell for more on my website, I just, I just took with me. By the way, if I'm speaking a little funny or my face looks jacked up, I had two teeth extracted yesterday. And uh, not in pain right now, but when the pain medication starts to wear off, it's gonna hurt and uh, yeah. Anyway, I wanna talk about what I got at the auction and uh, you know, things like that. So uh, let's take a walk to the fish room and I'll show what I got. Refill that snack and beverage if you need to. It should be healthy, but if it's not, I don't really care. I'm just trying to be nice and uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks, in this tank are two things I got from the auction. I got a trio of uh, those full gold guppies. Now I have full gold long ribbon guppies in the fish room, but I wanted to get the standard version to help breeding. Uh, the price was decent. It wasn't great. Uh, it was a little bit more than I would pay for a pair at wholesale, but this is a trio and there's no shipping and they're locally bred, so I, I went for it. But in this tank, there are 10 um, gold laser quarries that I got cheaper than I could get them wholesale. They're a little small, but I'll fatten them up. So legitimately, I bought them while I was there and put them on the website. Um, and that's, you know, that's just like a business thing, right? Like a lot of people go to auctions to buy fish for their own collection. But I go to buy fish to sell because I'm in this for the shekels. Not because I love fish. Although I do like fish. And I do have some tanks that I do like to maintain and keep nice. This is strictly a business for me for the most part. So I got these gold uh, laser quarries that I paid less for from my, that I would for my wholesaler. Um, there, were, there was one in the bag that had a little bit of ammonia burn. But he seemed to do okay in this tank. The male uh, gold full gold guppy is struggling right now um i'm not overly concerned of course i'd like him to survive but those females are fat with two t's at the end i do have to add some floating plants in this tank which uh, if you guys could remind me in the comments because you're really good at that and i'm not good at remembering um i i will take care of that all right what else did i get in the auction mm, let's move down here these really nice red swordtails were selling for way more money than I thought they should have. I waited, this is like the fourth or fifth lot, and I got these for more than half of what the first lot went for. There were three or four adults um, and a bunch of juveniles here. I'm going to grow them out and breed them and see what we got. See, see if we can sell them. The price was right, and I do really like them, so even if they don't sell, I'll probably keep them. Also, uh, there was a lot of uh, super red plecos, adult size. I had one in the fish room, but I didn't have uh, a male to go with it. So there was a male in the, uh, in the bag. You can see there's a cave there. I think there's one in the cave there. Yep, 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 yep. And there might be one in that cave, but of course we can't see it. Anyway, so this is the, the red tank. 
Um, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be breeding the the plecos and these uh, swordtails, and we'll see how it goes. Now, I will be also adding uh, this really great food. This is actually from Northfin. I don't believe it is out on the market yet. It was one of the samples they sent me, but I love uh, the the North brand selection of food. So. That's what I'll be feeding to that tank. Not exclusively, but a lot. And of course, I love the Dr. Basilier's Nano. Um, what else did I get? I don't even remember because it was a couple days ago and I'm old. I think, I think that's it. I still have a bunch of um, live bearers that I got. Uh, I got some platies, some sword tails, and some mollies. Um, they weren't selling like I thought they were going to sell. I didn't make money on what I sold because I buy them wholesale and they were relatively inexpensive. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I may just let them breed in here. I may sell them cheap. I may send them to another auction. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but it is what it is. I think that's it as far as what I bought. Now you guys want to know about quarantine. You've asked me a couple times what I used to quarantine. I'm going to make another video about it, but like this thing, look at all the fry that were born yesterday or the day before. Yeah, that is, I mean, what is that like? Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha that's like a thousand dollars right there. I, I don't know. Uh, I use pretty much um, Fritz products. I use Expel P and I use uh, the My Myrosin and I also use salt. Um, I'll go over in detail what I do in another video, but that's what I use. You can, you can see that these guppies in here are even doing better just with a week inside with the medicine. There are still with, you know, a few skinny ones, but we'll fatten them up and we'll go from there. Um, let me just take a quick look around the fish room. I, I think that's it. I sold a lot of little plecos because I have a poop ton. Like, like, look at all the plecos in here. I mean... They just, they just keep multiplying. Um, there are some long fins in here as well. I know I sold a couple long fins. And then we have these, these nice uh, lemon blue eye plecos. Lots of fry, or lots of plecos in there. And then uh, we have more lemon blue eyes. We got two tanks of them because they're two, from two different places. I didn't want to put them together. Uh, and long fin albinos. I sold a couple of these as well. And then in there, we just have a mishmash. There's some calicos and some long fins and some short fins. And you can see all the babies up on the, the, uh, the pipe over there. And then I have even more long fin blacks. Not all of them are long fin, but there are definitely long fins in there. Uh, these look really nice for just your standard bristle nose. I will be getting another order of guppies in next week. Um, there isn't a whole lot of available on the website uh, right now, and I apologize for that, but life happens. So, Also, uh, if you ordered from me last week, I think I reached out to the nine orders that I have, but if you didn't see your email and you're watching this video, you're like, where's my order, Mike? You said it was going to ship on Wednesday, and it's now Thursday, and I don't have any tracking. Well, yeah, I didn't ship yesterday because I had that emergency surgery. Somebody gave birth in here, too. Look at the little uh, black metal lace fry. And if you guys remember the black metal lace fry from, you know, a couple weeks ago, I guess that's probably two months now. Here they are, growing up nice. All right, fishy folks, that does it. Um, if you're interested in any of these live bearers, shoot me an email. Uh, you can go to my website, michaelsfishing.com, and use the contact page. Uh, and I will gladly make a deal for these, some of these, all of these. There's black mollies, green sword tails. There's a couple pineapple, at least one pineapple sword female. Oh, there's two. And some uh, some platies. So if you're looking for some cheap live bearers, send me an email. And uh, I didn't sell any of these Buenos Aires Tetras. I brought uh, 18 of them, but things weren't going for what I thought I should sell them for. I know I can sell them more on the website. So if you're looking for Tetras, they are on the website as well. There's also two gold laser uh, quarries in the back that are full size. See them back there? All right, folks. Oh, I almost forgot. In this tank down here, we have um, black line pygmy quarries, really tiny quarries. They're not on the website uh, as we speak, but hopefully by the time you watch this video, 
they will be on the website. So if you're interested, take a look, michaelswisher.com. All right, folks, that does it. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, check out the website. See you, bye. Well, what I want to show you in this tank are these gold um, plecos. Nope, just kidding. They're not plecos. I want to go over what I got at the auction and uh, also talk about quarantine. Just kidding.